Today's challenge. It's one of those datasets that looks like someone just copied and pasted whatever they felt like it. We need to turn this into a nice clean report where each company sits on its own row with perp accounts for revenue, cost, tax and profit. First things first, let's bring this messy table into Power Query. Let's start untangling. Right now only the rows labeled company actually tell us which company we are dealing with. All the other rows are doing this. They are just floating. So let's add a new conditional column. Go to the Add Column tab. Click Conditional Column. Name it Company. Set the rule. If Column 1 equals Company, then Column 2. Else Null. You'll now have a new column with company names, but only in some rows. Now let's pass the company name down to all the related rows. It's very easy. Select the company column, go to Transform and hit Fill Down. That's it. Now every row knows which company it belongs to. Ok, time to clean the mess. We don't need the rows that just say company, because we've already extracted that info. And we don't want the profit rows either. We are going to recalculate profit ourselves. So click the filter icon on column 1 and uncheck company and profit. Nice. Now we are left with the good stuff. Revenue, cost and sometimes tax. This is where the things get interesting. We are going to turn the values in column 1, revenue cost tax, into purple columns. To do that, go to transform, click pivot column. For the column to pivot, choose column 1. For values, pick column 2. You should now see one row per company with columns for revenue, cost and maybe tax. But you'll notice some cells are blank. Since some companies don't have tax values, we'll treat them as zeros. So select the revenue, cost and tax columns, go to transform, click replace values, replace null with zero. No more blanks messing our maths. Time to add the final piece. Profit. We'll calculate it from scratch using the formula. Profit equals revenue minus cost minus tax. To do that, go to Add column, Custom column, name it Profit and use the formula. Hit OK and just like that, you've got a properly calculated Profit column for each company. You should now have a clean report that looks like this. Much better, right? See you next time.